Hey guys, Break here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get the most Darkmoon prize tickets possible during the Darkmoon Fair event. Now, you want to do this because obviously, look at this awesome mount you get for a thousand Darkmoon tickets. It's a pretty new mount, there are not very many people with this mount. At least I haven't seen very many. Why? Because a thousand tickets is pretty hard to get. Today I'm going to be showing you every single possible way you can do to get the Dark Moon prize tickets. A couple of things that you might not know about. And yeah, let's get started. Before we begin, I'd like to say if you have gold, by far the best and easiest way to get the Dark Moon prize tickets is to look on the Black Market Auction House every day and bid on the Dark Moon Fanny Pack when it comes up. This seems to give anywhere between 250 and 500 tickets. Now I got one couple of days ago and it had almost 400 like 380 tickets in so I was pretty pleased with that I did spend like 200k but I've got a lot of gold so it's all right for me but for some of you that's probably not possible but if it is possible I would definitely recommend doing that it's going to save you a lot of time and it's definitely the uh, quickest way to be getting these tickets first up if you're on a new character or a character that has not done this before you can spend 100 dark moon dagamores to get a faded map. Now I've already got the faded map on this character so it no longer shows up at this vendor. The vendor is here by the docks. Uh, 100 Darkman Dagamore. You can either fish up the Dagamore from the sea here, just learn fishing from this guy, or you can buy them from the auction house, probably easier. They're usually around, how much else? 60 gold? Yeah, that's quite a lot. Usually around 50 gold, so 100 is what, like 5k? This map offers a quest, and if you complete the quest, go into all these different, finding all these different clues, takes about five minutes, you will get a hundred tokens. So that's a very quick way to get your first hundred tokens, but you can only do it once per character. Uh, it doesn't matter if you wait a month, go to the next Dark Moon Fair. If you've already done it, you won't be able to do it again. I have done a video about this on my channel. So if you type in like Break Dark Moon, it'll come up. I'll probably link it in the description below if I remember. Uh, so if you want a video description of that, then please do watch that. Now the next easiest way for you to get the tickets is to purchase these. These different insignias. They are Banner of the Fallen, Captured Insignia, Imbued Crystal, Monstrous Egg, Mysterious Grimoire, Ornate Weapon, Soothsayer's Runes, A Treatise on Strategy, and Fallen Adventures Journal. Now every single time the Dark Moon fares up, you can turn these in. So it's not just a once per thing, it's a once per it's a once per fair thing, basically. And if you hand all of these in, it will get you 80 tickets. So they're usually pretty cheap. They usually go up in price when the Dark Moon fair's on. So if you really want to buy them, I'd try and buy them like two weeks after the Dark Moon fair, or a week after maybe the price would have gone down. But Otherwise, just buy them. They're usually around 500 gold, maybe like 100 gold. To be honest, they're like 100 gold, unless it's in the Dark Moon Fair, then they go up to 500 or even 1,000 gold. But it's definitely worth it. Just uh, buy them, collect them from your mail, learn all of the quests, and go hand the quests in. So yeah, lots of them you do hand in here. 10 tickets, 5 tickets, 15 tickets. And then you hand in a couple more on the other side of the fair, which I will go and show you. This guy right here, another 10. And then the guy over here, oh no, I've gone the wrong way. Now this will, like I say, this will give you 80. And doing this every time is going to be a great little bump. Because there aren't many other ways to get that many tokens that easily. Now the other way for you to get big amount of Dark Moon tickets is from these pet battle guys. Now this is something a lot of people don't seem to know about or at least have tried it before and maybe couldn't kill them and then gave up. But these guys you can do every single day the Dark Moon fairs on so that's seven days and each time one of them gives five tokens and one of them gives ten. I think this guy gives five and the other one gives ten. Let's see. Yes yeah, so that guy gives five and the other one gives ten. That's fifteen a day. Or 15 times 7 is over 100, isn't it? I don't do maths, but yeah, it is 105. Now, you can only do these once per account, so you don't go on your alts and try to do them as well. That would be OP. 
you only do them once per account but make sure you do do them because 15 per day is really good now I've just killed this one so I can't really show you but I'm trying to do them on pets everyone has or everyone can get so here the Zandalari Ankle Render, Dark Moon Zeppelin and Clockwork Gnome these are three good battle pets and the three pets you can buy off the auction house not too bad well the Ankle Render isn't too bad and these two are a bit more expensive but you know they're still less than 10k generally uh, definitely worth getting as battle pets if you don't have them and you just want to start with the ankle render for this guy you want to press uh, primal cry you want to press black claw and then you want to press hunting party you'll kill his first guy you'll then go to your dark moon zeppelin you want to press thunderbolt and missile basically and that will get rid of the second guy and then onto his third guy the monkey your zeppelin will still be alive you want to press bombing run and that will basically kill him off or if it kills you you'll have your clockwork gnome just to finish him uh with these three pets it's really easy like i say like both of the like when i killed it i didn't even have to use my gnome and my zeppelin survived and i killed all three of his with just one and a half of mine and there we go just killed this guy as well exactly the same thing okay a couple died this time but my gnome still had loads of health you want your ankle render, you want to press Primal Cry, and then Black Claw, and then Hunting Party. Then when it gets to Zeppelin, you want to press Thunderbolt and Spam Missile. And then when it gets to your Gnome, you just want to spam Metal Fist, or you can do Launch Rocket. Either way, you're going to win with these three. Now the good thing about these, not only do they give a lot of tickets, they also have the chance to give pets, which sell for quite a lot of gold. Okay, I didn't get one, but like I say, you can do it once every day, so maybe we'll get a chance of getting the pets. The next best way of getting the tickets is from the mini games. Now these only give one ticket. Look, I'll open this one. They only give one ticket per mini game, which is really not great. But again, something people don't seem to realize about these is you can trade them off alts. So you can come on your alts, do it on your alts, and then mail them over to your main. And this will help you get, well, one a day and there's six so that's six a day uh, seven days that's 42 but I've got a lot of alts I've got seven alts on this server so that'd be 42 times seven which is what like 300 something like that 294 so if you have a lot of time and a lot of alts this is a great thing to do now the six games are the bonk the guys on the head over here very easy the next game is the cannon. You gotta land in the circle. I'm really bad at this one, guys, but I'll, I'll try and show you what to do. It launches you, and you gotta get as close to landing in the circle as possible. That usually means cancelling just when you get to around this post here. So there we go. I got to the post, and I got close. I'll probably get a couple of points. For, okay, I only got one point. So you just have to do that a few times. Uh, to quickly get back you can talk to this guy teleport me to the cannon it costs 50 silver and there you go the next game is pretty easy it's the shooting game you just have to shoot where the arrow points really really simple that one tonk commander is the next one again it is pretty simple you just have to go around hitting the targets and avoiding the other guys that fire at you you can also get a speed boost uh, it's really easy there's also achievements for all of these by the way so if you guys are interested in achievements then it's worth doing next up is the fire circle thing where you just have to fly around going into the circles um, it depends how good your graphics are sometimes they can be kind of hard to see but really it's really easy just go fly around get the things you've got like 10 seconds or something to reach the next one uh, really really simple stuff finally is the turtle game you just stand around in there throw some hoops try hit it on the turtle again pretty easy stuff next up we have the slightly newer dailies here you just have to run through the things and get the things that we'll try on uh, we'll try on this guy shall we each one has different boosts oh look at that music okay and now i've just uh just messed this one up so that was good uh, but yeah it's really simple stuff you just want to keep running through and try and reach the end uh, again there's achievements for all of these which I have done because I'm a professional player 
No, I just used to be really keen on the old achievements. So the second these achievements came out, I was like, right, I've got to do them. Uh, yeah, as long as you're getting kind of into... Oh, as long as you're getting into every single sort of area. Don't hit me. Oh. Then it's uh, pretty easy stuff. Anyway, there you go. I've got a terrible time, but uh, it doesn't matter on the time. You just have to complete it and you can complete the quest. And it's exactly the same with the other one over here. It's just a different course, um, same kind of thing. Also gets you a token. Anyway, that's all the games. That's also all the daily content. So once you've done doing all that every day, then that's all you need to do. Then there's just the profession quests, which I'll go over now. You get both primary and secondary profession quests, uh, which you can do once per Darkmoon Fair. Now these require you to do all sorts of random things. Here we've got my cooking one, which gives me three prepare crunchy frogs. Basically you just have to go find some simple flour from a vendor, make the frogs really easy. Uh, collect five sea herrings, that's my fishing one. It also gives you uh, it also gives you points, so if you're looking to level up to 800 and you can't quite get the last few uh, experience points, whatever profession points, then yeah. The dual crafting one, just find five bits of glass. What have we got here? First aid one. Anyway, the primary ones give you four tokens and the secondary give you three. So that's a maximum of 20 tokens, I believe, because you've got four secondary and two uh, primary. So make sure you do all that when you first enter and then you're done for the, you're done for the time. You can't do them daily. You just got to do them once and you're done. I've got to find five of these bits of glass, easy stuff. Turn them into gems, and then we're good to go. Pretty easy for the jewel crafting. Just a final couple of things. One of them is the 250 Tester Strength, Grizzly Strength things. So to complete this quest, you go at the start of the Darkmoon Fair, uh, Darkmoon Adventurer's Guide, and if you've lost it, it'll give you one. You do get a quest to go there at the start, but it should just give you one. And then killing any sort of mob that gives XP, doing any sort of PvP, that will all get you these uh, grizzly trophy things. And just keep the uh, adventures guide on you with the quest in your bag, quest in your log, sorry. And you will complete this quest pretty quickly. So the very last thing is to kill Moonfang and get the quest item that drops. How do we get Moonfang? Well, either you look on the pre-made group finder for Moonfang, Often people make groups because it's quite hard to kill. And then it's very simple. You can just join the group, get the kill, pick up a quest item, uh, complete that quest, and that will give you 10 Darkmoon tickets. And you can do that once per sort of Darkmoon fair. So again, that's another 10 tickets every fair. Now to summon Moonfang, without finding on the group finder, you just have to kill all these Moonfang Snarlers. And Moonfang will spawn. It doesn't actually take that long for it to spawn, don't worry. Uh, but it is quite hard to kill if I remember correctly, so you may have to have a group for it. Anyway, you do this again once per Darkmoon Fair and uh, going to be in the business. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. If you do all of that, you're going to get 281 tickets. So you spend seven days doing everything I just said. And obviously, the, uh, the games the games you do all across here once per day. You can do them on other characters and send over the tickets from one character to another, and then you can get more per week. So getting, say, 300 per event is pretty simple, and then, like, three to four events, that's three to four months of doing this, and you'll be able to get your mount, or just do it once and spend it on some of the transmog pieces like I talked about in my transmog video these sell for a lot still usually around 50,000 gold so it is worth buying the transmog pieces the pets and toys also sell but not for as much as the transmogs some of those leather drid leather transmogs sell really really well anyway guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed and until next time see ya